Respected brothers, may Allah accept all of us, may Allah keep all of us on the way of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We say alhamdulillah that Allah grant us with this blessed religion, grant us with the best prophet and messenger. We'll say Alhamdulillah that Allah allow to ourselves to say La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah. But I spoke last week about Akhirah. As we know, Islam has five pillars, isn't it? These pillars, the first one, Shahada to an la ilaha illallah. This sentence, La ilaha illallah, all of us we know as a translation of this sentence, no God but Allah. But actually, if we look at the Quran, Quran doesn't say, say La ilaha illallah. Quran says, Fa'lam annahu la ilaha illallah. What is the difference, Sheikh? Respected brothers, when Allah ordered the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, with this verse, فَعْلَمْ أَنَّهُ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ He revealed this verse after 10 years. 
from the beginning of this message of Islam. After 10 years. That means the Prophet Muhammad used to say to people, to disbeliever, to, to his tribes, if you say just La ilaha illallah, you will be in the heaven. Why? Because at their time, at the beginning of Islam, people used to do worship for idols, for this statue. So the Islam come to take off this bad worship from their hearts. But when the people start to convert it to Islam, and the people accepted Islam, after 10 years, Allah says to the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu now you should teach them what is the knowledge of La ilaha illallah. This sentence, brothers, all of us, we know this hadith, I am sure. This sentence, heavier than all the global. Heavier than this global, yes. Heavier than all the uh, planets, yes. Heavier than the skies and the earth, yes. This sentence, share this sentence here, easy sentence, yes. Okay. Respected brother, if we believe this idea that this sentence heavier than everything in the court of Allah in the scale on the day of judgment. Do you have doubt with this idea? No. What we do with this sentence? Do we ask ourselves, why this sentence very heavy in the court of Allah? Do we ask ourselves this question? Do we make a plan that I have to repeat this sentence as much as I can? Why? Because if I meet Allah with big amount of this dhikr, I will be safe on the day of judgment. So let us discuss just with these two points. Just with these two points. How many times do you do dhikr with this sentence? Seriously, brothers. How many times? How many times do you repeat this sentence? Shaykh Allah, when I feel angry, I will say, La ilaha illallah. Because of anger. Shaykh, actually, I say that in a prayer. Respected brothers, this sentence, most beloved dhikr to Allah. The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu mentioned that clearly in the authentic hadith when he said, the best dhikr, the best worship that I come with the prophets and messenger before me, la ilaha illallah. <coughs> Respected brother, this sentence, the key of heaven, the key of heaven, la ilaha illallah. How many times do you repeat this sentence? So this, we should absorb this idea. I try to make at least thousand times la ilaha illallah. La ilaha illallah, thousand times. Do you know how long? Trust me, maximum, maximum 20 minutes. But this thousand times, I swear by Allah, one time better than all my lives. All my life, one time better than all my life. What do you think about thousand times every day? If you meet Allah and you have this account five, six billion times, la ilaha illallah. The authentic hadith respected the brothers, let us say all together, la ilaha illallah. Say it from your heart, try to feel that from your heart. La ilaha illallah. The authentic hadith on the day of a judgment, Allah will call a slave. And Allah will judge him. That person, his skills show the bad deeds more than good deeds. That means this person to fire. Does that make sense? Allah will ask that person, Oh my slave, is your judge right? Slave will say, oh Allah, yes, fair. Allah will ask this slave, do you miss any good deeds in your scale of good deeds? Say, no Allah, I didn't miss anything, everything right. Allah will say, oh my slave, actually you have one, one thing more, 
Just one thing more. Last day we say, oh Allah, what is that thing? Look at the bad deeds, very heavy, and good deeds, very light. The scale of bad deeds, heavier than good deeds. Allah will give him card, small card. When you meet someone, you give your card, his card. Does that make sense? This card contain La ilaha illallah. That slave will say, oh Allah, what is this card in front of these books and folders of bad deeds? What is this card? Allah will say, my slave, this is your right upon me. I have to give you your right. This is rules of Allah. Allah put this right, these rules upon himself. Every slave, every creatures will get their rights on the day of a judgment. That person will take this card, put it in the scale of good deeds when he put this card in the scale of good deeds all the bad deeds will will come you see when i put very heavy thing on this scale and this one heavier than this one i put something heavy heavy here and i put it with a strong way that thing will be gone like this respected brothers like this that person will be surprised Ya Allah, what is this card? <laughs> what is this card? Allah will say, this is your sentence when you said in dunya, la ilaha <laughs> This is the first point. The second point, brothers, now, this important, or more important than the first point, to learn la ilaha illallah. Allah says, fa'lam. Go and learn this sentence. It's not enough to say La ilaha illallah. Trust me, if you go to a Muslim country, I meet thousand people, Christian people, Jewish people. If they talk with you, they say La ilaha illallah. But they don't believe this sentence. It's like habit. And this happened with us now, brothers. We say this sentence and we don't know the meaning of this sentence. This is my point from this a few minutes with you. Let us go ahead with this sentence. Allah says in the Quran, Oh Muhammad, you have to learn and teach them the meaning, the knowledge, the power, the benefits of La ilaha illallah. If anything happened with us now, your son, fell from the stairs <coughs> and he broke his leg or his hand. We start swearing, shouting. Does that make sense? Why this happened? Why that happened? That means you don't know what is mean. La ilaha illallah. Trust me. Respected brothers, we know the meaning or the knowledge of la ilaha illallah when we stop complain anything in our life. Sheikh, I did test and the doctor said there is cancer in my any part of your body. Okay, say la ilaha illallah. Oh Sheikh, oh, Sheikh I said cancer, I have children, I have family. Respected brothers, let us discuss as a normal Muslim, not real believer. Who can control this cancer, brothers? Who? Who can solve this problem? No. So send the message to Allah, not to any other people or any other creation. Focus with this. فَعْلَمْ أَنَّهُ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ There is no one has control in this world but Allah. There is no power in this world. There is no shifa. There is no benefits, there is no income, there is no sustenance from anyone but Allah. Do we believe that? Honestly, brother, do we get this knowledge that means nothing comes to us? Nothing without Allah's permission. That means Allah knows what happened with me. So if you need support, go to the main, the main Controller, the main supporter is Allah. Do we have this knowledge? Oh, you enter to your house, 
you found some problem in your house. Who did that? Your son. You go to your son shouting, screaming, say bad words. Dad, why you do like this? That happened by mistake. If you concentrate, this will not happen. SubhanAllah. Dad, where is la ilaha illallah? Listen, brothers. The servant of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Sayyidina Anas ibn Malik, spent with the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu not one day, 10 years. 10 years he passed to us this amazing knowledge of La ilaha illallah. He said, I spent with the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu 10 years during the day and the night. During the day and the night, 24 hours, 10 years with the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Listen. He said, never ever the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu complained about any issues. Nothing. If something happened and he disliked that thing, will say, Qaddar Allah wa ma sha This is what Allah wants. This is what Allah wants. You get called. This happened. Qaddar Allah wa ma sha La ilaha illallah. And if something happened that he likes, say Qaddar Allah wa ma sha'afa'an. Alhamdulillah. Can we practice this sunnah, brothers? Can we believe la ilaha illallah, not just words as a knowledge? Wallahi, brothers, wallahi, this class will come on the day of a judgment. Allah will ask everyone among us. Everyone will listen on the YouTube or social media. Do you get this point? La ilaha illallah, not just words. La ilaha illallah, all our life. La ilaha illallah, massive amount of reward and knowledge. La ilaha illallah, make you relax. La ilaha illallah, make you strong. Strong. Something. Make you scared, la ilaha illallah. Teach your children, wallahi brothers, amazing idea. My son come to me, I'm scared, five years old. Just I ask him, who is with you? Say Allah, that's enough. When our children grow up with this mentality, that means Allah with us, they learn la ilaha illallah properly, wallahi brothers, wallahi. We will find all our life different. <coughs> different. This happened with you. Don't blame your wife. Say, La ilaha illallah. <coughs> Qaddar Allah wa ma This work is unsuccessful. Qaddar Allah wa ma But when I do what I have to do, I will not fail in the exam because I didn't study properly. Then I will say, La ilaha illallah. No. This is not the real understanding of this sentence. When I do my job perfectly and something come opposite what I want or with different way, I would say la ilaha illallah. There is some secret in this issue Allah will show me later. That's it. May Allah, may Allah support us to learn the knowledge of la ilaha illallah. فَعْلَمْ أَنَّهُ لَا إِلَهَ let us do five times all together. Please try that you talk with your Lord. Say that from your heart. Ya Allah, I believe no God but you. I believe nothing will come to me without your permission. I believe every benefit come to me from your side. Say it like this, please. <laughs>